on Hardline. That's Leo Ray. Says he has information regarding the drug war that's plaguing Miami. I had everything on a platter, and you fucked it up. You sure like cracking up? They're both excellent at improvising and terrible about keeping things quiet. What the hell just happened? You wanted to see me, sir? Mendoza, have a seat. Let's change things up for you, too. Relax. He's not gonna make you direct traffic. Well, not yet. So Leo, our good friend, he told us what he knew and he walked right out the door. He came in for protection, I thought. Tell Nick what Leo gave up. Drug bails. You're shitting me. Planes go up, drugs come down. Up. Right into the Everglades. Show him. A fishing map. Whose operation is this? Some shipbird named Remy Neltz. Two years ago, this Neltz character was nothing, a blip on the radar. Now, he runs the entire operation that employed Tyson Latchford. Sounds like a man of ambition. Yes, he does. I want you two to wade into that mud hole we call a national park and find out just how ambitious he is. Sir, why would Leo rat on his boss and then just walk out into the open? Well, Leo said he didn't feel safe around cops anymore. We're done. Actually, Mendoza, stay a minute. Of course. Your partner can be a bit of a hothead. Well, she believes in what she's doing, sir. <laughs> Good answer. Sit down, son. There are going to be some complaints about the Elmore. Excessive force, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. Well, we appreciate that. Mm. Thank you, sir. How's your mother, Detective? Sorry, sir. Your mother? I'm sure she went through a lot to get you out of Cuba. <laughs> you don't become a detective, especially at your age, without a thorough background check. And you have a lot of background to check. Sir, it's all right. I know what it's like to have a shithead for a father, too. It took me a long time to find my way. And you? You're on the right path, son. Stay on it. Jesus Christ, Leo's map is confusing. The scale is all wrong, but I think this is it. Leo just gave Dawes that map. Just handed it over. Handed over an unbelievably shitty map. Yeah, but what's in it for him? That's what I don't understand. Well, he's obviously being pressured by someone or something. Whoever's dropping these bales, Leo wants us to know about it. So we can take out his competition, right? Leo knows he's done in Miami. I had to guess he's probably setting up a meth lab in Iowa right about now. What the hell were you thinking anyway, beating him up like that? Leo had an attitude problem. And we could have had an internal affairs problem. There's our girl. Take us toward the drop. Narcos track their bales by radio. The number on Leo's map must be the frequency. And look at that. We got a ping. Get me close enough to a bale and I'll tag it with the tracking dart. That way, when someone comes to pick these things up, we'll know exactly where they go. You know, back when the cartels ran their drugs through Miami, these swamps were filled with smugglers. Maybe history's repeating itself. <laughs> Let's hope not. Back then, cartel guys were gunning each other down at their kids' birthday parties. Yeah, I remember. I was just a kid back then, but I saw some crazy shit. Blood on the sidewalk. Pit bulls with your throat slashed. How the hell did your mom keep you out of all that shit? It's gonna sound a little corny. She worked hard. And she loved me. Yeah, that sounds pretty goddamn corny. <laughs> Mama's boy. <laughs> Never would have guessed.
tagged it. Now let's see where it goes. And we got another kill. Lead on, partner. There's at least 10 kilos in that bale. Americans love their drugs. My point is, this is not a small operation. Dawes wouldn't have us out here if it was. So say the cartels are using Miami to move product again. Why would they do that? My best guess? Mexico's gotten way too scary. The average smuggler will risk prison but not having his head chopped off by some Zeta. <laughs> Americans do love their drugs. But hey, it's a big deal that Dawes put us on this. You know that, right? Oh, I know. The problem is, the stuff we're doing, we can't exactly bring to a DA. Who gives a shit? This is way more fun. By the way, Captain Dawes, that guy was reckless as hell when he was young. Yeah, I heard that about him. It's just a risky way to work, that's all. Word of advice. You want to get on the captain's good side? Take the gloves off. Oh, is that what this is? Bare knuckle police work? Now you're catching on. Okay, I'll pull up to the dock. A lot of gators out here. Yeah, I wouldn't sweat it. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. to the train. <sighs> More afraid of us than we are of them, huh? Let's just get out of the water. We gotta get up to that platform. Try this grappling hook. I borrowed it from SWAT. Ever used one before? No. Launch the hook at the platform. <laughs> Did the narcos build these things? No. They're old observation platforms. For tourists. You good cop? How's your shoulder? Hurts like hell, actually. Here, brought a zip line, too. You did come prepared. Aim for those planks. They'll make a good anchor. Bullseye. Okay. Follow me down.
What's your scanner showing? See that? I'm gonna have a look around. Stand up! He's down! We're clear. Looks like that bail missed the target. Got a frequency for you. 120.13. See anything? Whoa. Look at all those pretty points of light. All up and down the lake. Well, let's take their boat and go check it out. Call this in? We're not exactly in our jurisdiction here. Let's find Neltz first. He's more ambitious than I thought. Shipbags always are. You know the thing that scares me the most about this drug war? Whoever wins will have a lot of money and a lot of guns. Yeah, when they're done with each other, they're gonna come after us. The 80s all over again. Which is why Dawes wants to stop this now, before it gets to that. So if we're off the books, off the books. I'm fine with it. it. Saves lives. Hey, I'm not arguing. Then why don't you sound convinced? Because what's the end game? To put the big boys away, the kingpins, and make it stick. You need a lot more than guns. I don't know. Do you? We're playing a dangerous game, Detective. Good. They're my favorite kinds of play.
I think we can get a view from the water tower. Give a scan before we get too close. Up with that thing. It has it fixed itself. We need at least one more fan boat by the weekend. We're not alone. I heard Remy's ramping up production. Not without another boat. It's not. That alarm will call more of a man unless you disable it. The thing I don't understand is what Remy would have done without their offer. Quiet and lost. There's a lot of guys in there. What's the call? Let's move in. Quietly. What is that?
What the hell were these guys guarding? Gotta be drugs, money, or guns. Look around. Let's find out. Last gen tech. Those things must get a signal out here. Guy was supposed to go to a stadium for a meet later. The closest stadium is back in Miami. Yeah, I don't think that's what this means. Well, time to move on. Okay, back to the boat. If the cartels are using the glades again, it makes sense. It's big, empty... Look, all we need to do right now is find Nels. You think Nels is working with the cartels? Uh-uh. Cartels have their own pipelines. This... This is someone else. So what do you know about Nels? Rich family, dropped out of film school. Got his start trying to fund a movie with drug money. Let me guess. He forgot to make the movie. No, he made it. He sucked ass. Stop and have a look. Oh my god. Oh Christ. It's Leo. Guess Dals was right. He wasn't safe. Why would he have come back to Nils? I'm gonna call it in. Shit. Yeah, I got nothing either. We gotta get going. So we leave him. Dawes tell you why he let Leo go? Dawes couldn't hold him. Technically, he didn't do anything illegal. Gator bait. Jesus. Hey, 
Hey, Kai. I gotta ask you about something. What's up? You. Tyson. No. Um, that. Well, you know, a girl occasionally goes on dates. You dated Tyson? Look, I met him at a party. We had one date. Well, two. Two official dates. Wait, wait, wait. You dated a cocaine dealer. Cocaine broker. So when did he find out you were a cop? When I found out he was a cocaine broker. Look, believe it or not, he's not a bad guy. What the hell is this place? No idea. Headed by the windmill. Let's get a bird's eye. I'm not saying that anyone has to do anything. I'm just saying that everyone should do it. Probably a few different ways. We got a buyer coming in. So what? So we're gonna look professional. I want patrols, groups of two. Get moving. The meeting's just breaking up. They're fanning out. Get in a little closer. Since when do we have to impress anybody? How long ago did they go to meet the plane? Yeah, maybe an hour. Should be back any minute.
Farm. That's clever. I'll give him that. Yeah. Remote location, good sea access, land access, fucking gators. Yeah, yeah, they're geniuses. Come on, there's a radio tower toward the back. Let's check it out. Hey. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I'm here. Who the fuck is this? It's Antonio. Where's Tommy? Yeah, um, uh, he's taking a shit. <sighs> nice. Oh, yeah? Well, tell him that Nelk said it's time for the meet. Okay. Where's he headed? Tommy knows where the fuck he's going, Antonio. Tell him we're on our way. We're in conversation anyway? The meeting on that guy's phone? That's with Nelts. He said they were headed... Miami Aquatic Stadium's been shut down for a while. That's where they gotta be meeting. Well, we're not gonna find it here. Stadium's just south of here. Hold tight.
Finally gonna get braces. You know the inside ones though. I don't wanna look weird. Just fucking get the braces. You already look weird, man. Hey, fuck you. We got a problem. We got a guy down over here! Right now! Go! Go! Get Hell. Him. No! 
adults. Watch they don't answer the alarm. Let's go. Nels, get your hands up! Keep them up! Huh. Mendoza, right? Save it! I took Starter's deal. You got some fucked up friends, Mendoza. Wait, what deal? I'm a ghost to you. You hear me? Damn it! I'll call in a chopper. We'll find him before he gets far. doesn't have any windows, so smoke should be effective. I want a three-man team going in here, and another here. Snipers, here, and here. Looks like Stoddard's got it all under control. Fuck that. We had him first. Okay. You want to make sure it's locked first, Hacha? Huh. Finally, we get to break. Going in. The fuck you are. See if your boys can take some heat off of us. I got him over here. All right, we got him. Hey, what the? Uh, get him. Oh, fuck, take him out. And don't stand down. We got this, Sergeant. God damn it, this is not. I said we got this. Hi, what the hell are you doing?
clear. Nelt isn't here. Let's move on. Guy, you find anything? Get this guy! We're on the third floor! Nothing yet! momentarily. Come on! Come on, get him! Come on! In position to breach the front door. Over there! Everything's ready. Let's knock on that front door. Son of a bitch! Engaging suspects. Right there! Take this fucker up! Down. Now. Whoa, 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 I took the deal. You, Stoddard, take it all. I'm out of here. Put the piece down, and we can talk about Stoddard, this deal, whatever else you want. What the hell was that, Stoddard? Looks like I just saved your life, Mendoza. He was surrendering. Leave it alone, partner. I say you were in danger. Right. He was dangerous because he was talking about your deal. Leave it alone, The hell I will. No, 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 I'm curious. What, did Nels say something interesting, Nick? We're done here. Listen to your partner. She's a smart lady. Here, before evidence arrives. You're kidding. There you go, Nick. Congrats on a job well done. Smart lady. Now I see why. 